Okay, let me get my glove on, because I don't like touching these tubes with my bare hands. You can cause them to get oil and they can fail prematurely. Okay, so the amp is on. Everything's at noon. Let's put everything full up. And this is referencing how to find a bad tube. Okay, so we're gonna hear some hum, especially for this channel, because this is really where the volume works when nothing's plugged in. Um, I tried recording this earlier, but I could hear it because I'm in the room, but the microphone didn't pick up the microphonic sound from one of the preamp tubes that I discovered a little earlier just now. Um, basically, this is a very primitive test. We just bang the tubes to see if they make noise. Okay, so I got a chopstick. And these sound louder. I don't hear anything from the speaker, which is good. Um, these are the power tubes. And everything inside looks fine. You see the insides, there's there's no white casing or anything around here. Um, they have a little blue ring when they're when standby is on. Um, but that's actually normal. That just means gas levels are actually operating above what or exactly at what it needs to be inside the tube. Um, these are the rectifier tubes I just did, and they're okay. Before I checked everything, also I, you know, I had the amp off and I checked the wiring to see if the sockets were okay. Here's the real area because what was going on with this amp was that in clean mode it was okay, but as you, as you can hear the crackling, it's definitely coming from the preamp section. Um, just sounds like the other ones, just like them, but here, completely, and then this fourth one, the same thing. And now it's picking up the sound of one of my neighbors. <laughs> Um, it's a microphonic tube, or I should say tubes. These two are bad, and these two are okay, but what's going to happen is I'm going to probably change all of them. Um, I'm not going to change this section. This whole amp was retubed last year, and these are expensive. Yeah. So, I'm probably going to change these four again. If you're wondering which ones these are, I think these were the JJ's with the gold pins. Good tubes, I don't know what happened. Maybe I put them in wrong or they just failed or they came in bad. Probably buy the next upgrade versions up. Let me just record the speaker sound of it. So the other ones are normal. So the power and the two rack points. Two preamps that are okay. Two preamps are bad. Alright, well I guess that's it. All the wiring looks okay. You touch these and you're dead. Um Okay, and I had everything full up. So I have everything back to midnight like I like it. This bright channel is ridiculous. Put this up. Problem solved.